I had zero confidence in any of my music. <laughs> really? I was always the simp, remember? I was always the that just didn't have any confidence that anything could happen at all. I was always wishing for a girl. I'm sprung. Right. That was about me simping to hell. This first, yeah. first real simp joint. Mm. And I'm in love with a stripper. Never said I ever got her. Just, right. just, said, just said I liked her a bunch. Bartender. That action. Oh, classic. Yeah. Never took her anywhere. Just kind of, right. she was just a bartender. Never said we... Damn, so of, but, but see, I think that's related to me I, sipping from afar. <laughs> Free drinks, I think that's though. Most guys. I think we need that bag of music, though. No. We got action. <laughs> what up, though, y'all? We got action. T Pain on Nappy Boy Radio was having a conversation. <laughs> We're talking about sipping and music. And it came up, of course, in a laughing matter. This ain't just no feud or no beefing, but we're going to talk about it. Is sipping needed in hip hop? Damn, I, do I got to say again? <laughs> but is sipping needed in hip hop? Like the crooning, the, the whole. I mean, for the average out there who don't know what sipping means, it's a street term. For just catering to a woman, going extra, doing the most, putting yourself in a submissive, weak predicament, predicament, trying to extra cater to a woman without caring about your morals or things of that nature. That's what simping is, going out your way. Now, don't, now don't get me wrong, but ain't nothing wrong with treating your lady if things are on an equal scale and vice versa and you can treat her right also. But simping is kind of like how he said, how uh, T-Pain said, you know, he would just admire from afar. You know, he didn't get the stripper <laughs> and all that in the song. He in love with a stripper, but she didn't even pay him no mind, you know. That's simping. Or in love with the bartender and all that and just going out your way and just catering to him without no type of self-respect. That's what simping is. So, but is simping needed back in the music? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Definitely feel free to put this in the comments if you how you feel about it. We just talking shit. T-Pain. He said Drake got it covered. <laughs> That's basically what he said. How you feel about that? Do Drake got it covered? Because Drake definitely got a lot of songs. I mean, a lot of songs. <laughs> Catering to the woman. Putting on a pedestal. Fantasizing from afar. Not caring about the end results. So pretty much do Drake got it covered. I mean, what can we do about it? I mean, cause let's, let's not lie. It's either one or two, though. I mean, I ain't too much of a big... I know Drake got them hits, don't get me wrong. But let's just say when you ride. It's only a couple artists you're going to listen to when you riding with a chick. When you don't feel like just scanning songs or being the super DJ trying to curate the mood. If you ain't playing just a regular radio and just letting whatever just play, just come on. It's either a couple of artists you're going to put on and just let their playlist or one of their albums just ride to a certain extent because you know it's like neutral. I'll put it to you like this. It's like throwing on a Drake album when you got a female in the car or something. It's safe. I can say that. That's as much pretty much I can say. Because it ain't no diss to Drake. Because De Drake definitely a hit maker. And he's a star. He's a born star. He's a bona fide star. But throwing Drake on, it's safe. Because you can just let it play. Because sooner or later, songs going to come on that, that you and her is going to be familiar with. And you're going to just, you know, just not just touch the dial. It's Like I said, again, it's just safe. You can just. Let a couple of Drake songs just play, and it could be just the undertone of just a just a nice day cruising. Or even when you playing a regular radio, if you playing a hip hop station, 
pretty soon a Drake song is gonna come on anyway. It ain't it ain't no escaping hearing the Drake song. That's just the foundation that's been laid out, and, and, and you know, all the stars are in line for his career. He's a mega star. He's a big star. So whatever he dropped, it's gonna get played. So, but to the second part of it. Is it needed in hip hop? Do we need more artists to quote unquote soften it up, cater to the woman and make it light, make it easy, make it soft like that, make it slash borderline hip hop, R&B. Do we need more of that in hip hop? How do you feel about that? Cause shit, I can't lie. I'm one of the ones who grew up on Too Short. Shit, chick fuck with me. Shit, I'm like to throw on some Too Short. <laughs> she ride with me, and don't let me be done popped it already. And I'm taking her home, and we didn't already finish. <laughs> shit, I'm like to throw on some Too Short. But I'm just, <laughs> but I'm just old fashioned like that. It is what it is. I listen to music that I listen to music that catered to me, the music that make me feel good. And a lot of women like too short too. That's what's so crazy about it. As much shit as he talk, it's still, it's still, he been around so long and everybody's so accustomed to what he gonna say. So it's still solid. It's, 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 especially grown women, it's not, it's not degrading or disrespectful like it used to be. It's like, okay, that's too short. We know what we getting. But do we need more seven in the music? <laughs> That was funny, though, how uh, T-Pain said Drake got it covered. So, that's just out there. We got a little bit of action. And when I say we got action, I ain't looking for no bullshit. Don't try to get caught up in thinking the channel was about looking for some some action action, some beef or some bullshit. No, it ain't that. I'm just having fun with it. With that, letting know that our culture got something that we can talk about and have a little bit of fun with. Because hip-hop is the ever changing not only revolution but evolution evolution and revolution it, it's so big so especially being by artists like Drake being on top he could take wherever he want to take it and I'm pretty sure he have no problem with saying that his music caters to women I mean let's be real even before Pac passed away he told he gave the formula and that's what I tell some people, even though if it is or ain't your favorite artist, Drake ran with that formula formula to make to make songs for the women. Like Pac said, Pac said, make songs for the women. The fellas gonna listen to it for the women. And that's exactly what Drake did. And he been doing it for years, banging out hits. So it is what it is. Thank y'all for tuning in. Matter of fact, shit, I could spice it up. i throw a piece in. I'm going to throw this one piece that I wrote called Player's Poem. This is a piece I wrote called A Player's Poem. This ain't no simp shit here. This 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 raw. But check this out. Listen to me. This is called A Player's Poem. What's up? You trying to fuck? See, if you say, yeah, or I give you some songs. Oh, shit. Let me bring that back. What's up? You trying to fuck? If I take you out, cater to you. And if you say, yeah, in the end, shit, is still the same results. See, you knew, yeah, your name when you first met me. The question is really when or if I talk myself out of it and you don't let me. But you accept me. You look me in my eyes and saw the full potential. Me and you together going number one. You be the lyrics, I be the instrumental. So what you trying to get into? I say what about your late 20s, early 30s? Trying to take life serious again Don't want to date Cause the last couple men And did you dirty But you keep yourself available Every time most sexual friends Give you a call 
But the stories you give me is you just hanging out and ain't trying to do nothing at all. Baby, that's the perfect star. I'll wait for the candy. See, I already know that you're going to give it. Long as you ain't on that 90 day Steve Harvey boy shit. Because if you is, we ain't even got to kick it. We both ain't worth it. We both ain't perfect. So I guess that makes us perfect. And that makes us worth it. So as you drown inside that cup, look me in my eyes with physical lust. I'm your free to the level counselor with me, spill your guts, cause with me you can trust. And in the morning when you wake up and finally realize what you did, you open your legs and your emotions all off a of conversation sitting at the bar. I guess it just is what it is. I was just someone to talk to. Someone to fuck you. Rap talk. Thanks for listening, y'all. Be sure to stay tuned in. Comment, like, share the video. Do we need more simping? Do we need more simping in hip hop? <laughs> cause, cause it's it's definitely a lot of simping in the poetry. <laughs> Y'all know how that is, but it is what it is. Get your feedback, leave it in the comments. Feel free to share this video, text it to somebody, share the video to make the channel grow. I appreciate y'all. Rap talk.